Hey guys, my name is Rodrigo and today we are going to talk about um, beer and the relationship between brewing, the process of baking beer and cerebral respiration. So, uh, beer is a highly popular drink in the whole world and it was greatly developed in Germany. Uh, you got different types of beers and with different quantities of alcohol. First, we are going to name other processes that we have to do before making the beer. Uh, the first process is mashing, then we have uh, separation, then boiling, and the last step is fermentation. One, one of the most important steps because uh, it's when the cerebral respiration comes in. So in the process of mashing is when all the main ingredients, crust and gains, are mixed with mash. Then the separation is when the, all the solids are separated from the liquids. From the liquids, um, that makes the beer. Um, boiling is the next is the next step. Is um, applies the enzymes and high temperature and eliminates all the bacterial activity. And last but not least, um, the process of fermentation. That is when the yeast converts uh, to glucose to ethyl alcohol or CO2. Um, we are going to specifically talk about this process, th this last step, sorry, uh, because it's when the um, cerebral respiration comes in and uh, we have a specific type of cerebral respiration that is the anaerobic cerebral respiration. That it means that we don't use uh, energy. So in this in this step, uh, with the absence of oxygen, the juice produces ATP, performing alcoholic, subtracting the alcohol, uh, making the beer that we can sell today.